Yo, anybody and everybody. It's about time I start making videos again, and I figured that I'd start on the one that won the Twitter poll I put out months ago. Y'all wanted to see this, and I've been lazy, but here we are. If you haven't seen any of my Lucario videos though, then feel free to check them out. Otherwise, I'm going to share 10 Lucario fact tips. Some will be common knowledge, and some just might be fun facts for Lucario mains too. Here we go. Starting off with the Lucario's parameters, we have Walk Excel and Dash Excel. Lucario's Walk Acceleration, Initial Dash Speed, and Dash Acceleration are all within the upper echelon of the entire cast. At times you walk around, you can feel the burst of immediate movement speed before reaching max walking speed. And it's this Walk Excel value that excels in close quarter situations. It's why you don't want to just dash forward carelessly a lot. After all, Lucario's dash is very good, and it's easy to get hit when you choose to dash toward an opponent. You'd likely want to dash into shield or something else like that, but trust your walking into shield more, in my opinion. The dash will be fleshed out later in tip number four, but for now, know that Walk Excel being so good allows Lucario to reach max walking speed sooner than most fighters. The walk excel also works well with walking away from down tilts and leg because of semi pseudo crawling. In ultimate, Lucario can perform what the community has coined semi pseudo crawling, which first appeared in Super Smash Bros. Brawl and has stuck around ever since. Out of the two types being full pseudo and semi pseudo, Lucario uses the semi variant. Nowadays though, only 7 out of almost uh, 90 fighters have access to the semi pseudo's properties. However, only 4 including Lucario have a definitively superior semi pseudo crawl with its full potential. It resides in one's down tilt and luckily for us, Lucario's got it. The aura Pokemon didn't have this in Brawl or Smash 4 as far as I know, so now it's become an ultimate exclusive for the character and it just so happens to have one of the best with unique and astonishing properties too. The Walk Excel boost seen from the turnaround is just one of the many options you can do out of this mechanic. Lucario definitely got lucky with this newfound trait, as well as the huge buff to... Air Speed. That's right, out of almost 90 fighters, Lucario and Wolf tie for having the 6th best air speed. And to bring up semi pseudo crawling from before, Lucario makes great use of it during down tilts and lag since it quote unquote boosts the aerial velocity upon jumping backward. Out of the four fighters honing the superior semi variant, Lucario's has the greatest backdrift property by far. Short hopped aerials with max reverse drifting makes this aura Pokemon simulate an airspeed value rivaling Yoshi's, the absolute best passive airspeed in the game. The combination of the uh, semi pseudo crawling and backward drifting is stellar, but the next tip helps basic movement, which happens to be Fox Trots. This was crazy to me. Before recording this, and like almost more than a year ago, I didn't know, but Lucario travels faster when repeatedly fox trotting versus running at max speed. In the first tip, I mentioned about Lucario's dash excel and the initial dash speeds ranking in the top 10, and this side by side should help explain why foxtrots are worth trying. Other characters that usually have either high dash excel and or a mixture of high initial dash speeds makes it just an optional thing for them, since their max speed is also high. but not Lucario. See, compared to the cast, Lucario's max run speed is just average. So anytime you launch someone on the opposite screen, just close the gap with Fox Trots instead. Fox Trotting is superior to running for Lucario, and using dash walk canceling by flicking the C or R stick is gonna amplify your Fox Trots even more. You're literally optimizing your burst range from traveling farther during the later frames of consecutively dashing. 
something you should also be trying is ledge jumping. Ah, yes. The so-called tournament winners. At least Lucario's jump is good in a vacuum. And while it's nice having the 11th best ledge jump in the game, Lucario has more to work with and has more opportunities thanks to Downer's utility. For example, you can cancel the jump's ascent or after ledge hopping, which is when you drop from ledge and double jump to stage. Downair stalls your aerial momentum too, so you could induce some aerial mix by halting your positioning during the ledge jump and then fast fall whenever you wish to. Down air is also amazing when playing around platforming. I gotta be honest, being able to instantly land on soft platforms with down air? Uh, <laughs> it goes without saying that this is Lucario's greatest option while playing around them. This character exclusive like option surpasses wave landing on platforms in my opinion, especially for Lucario because you don't need to expend any directional air dodge inputs. Repeated wave land inputs are going to have less intangibility and less sliding distance. It's fine wave landing every now and then, so just conserve them. I mean, the whole point of wave landing is for the sliding distance, wouldn't you agree? Because even though downer platform landings are like stationary, at least they have no depreciation to them after each use and you only suffer 12 frames of landing lag. Wave lands, on the other hand? 19 frames of lag. There's several ways to down air on platforms too, so I recommend practicing this. I mean, think about it. Would you rather spend 22 frames or 31? Yeah, that's what I thought. Now how about another down air factoid? Air walking. In simple terms, air walking is when Lucario inputs a rising down air during hit stun. In Brawl, air walking used to be possible when taking shield stun and then doing a rising down air out of shield. Nowadays, air walking's only possible during hit stun and you can either input it with a quirky stall and quote unquote fall property or in combination with the double jump. Thus creating that rising down air flow. For the latter, avoiding or escaping from severe disadvantage state due to someone being aggressively airborne during their string and or combo is very nice to have. If you do airwalk once, know that you cannot airwalk again any more attempts until your double jump refreshes. It's not comparable to a flip jump per se, but airwalking is a staple advanced technique, and I do recommend it. Something else to recommend is a trait that only six characters can pull off, and that would be wall clinging. For more than a decade in Smash, Lucario has remained the only character out of almost 90 that can wall cling out of its respective up special, aka extreme speed. The other 90-ish characters cannot wall cling from, during, or after their respective third jump. Additionally, Lucario can cling to stage terrain like the solid pillar underneath Pokemon Stadium 2, along with other legal examples. This next one is something you may have known, but maybe you just forgot. So, let's get it memorized. Scrooging. Being a term coined by the community long ago, it's when a character is going under the stage and grabbing the ledge on the opposite side. Very few characters can manage this feat, and it differs depending on the character and the stage in question, even being straight up impossible if the stage is totally blocked off from below. It'll vary for Lucario, but the aura Pokemon can generally Scrooge on all legal stages. Sometimes Lucario needs a hint of aura or more for augmenting Extreme Speed's traveling velocity, but if you master wall clinging, then it shouldn't be as difficult. And finally, the last fact tip will be something I know very little to nobody will know of. I've been holding back on it for so long, after all. And it would be... Uh... Cool? Okay, the truth. 
I originally discovered this advanced technique on my own time about two years ago or so when I was dabbling with ledge grab windows and then, you know, finding Lucario's on a whim. I stumbled upon this because I was curious of what would happen if I inputted a wall jump execution near and while grabbing ledge. So, here we are. This isn't Lu a Lucario specific technique though. I just happened to find it first with the character. Thankfully, it is a technique that is shared by a little under half the cast, namely being about 33 fighters so far. And as far as I know, nobody's ever talked about this. I've tried looking for it on popular meta videos and technique showcases, but I literally found nothing about this, so I just assumed no one on this earth knew. There's probably someone or a few, but since I supposedly found this and making a video about this referencing, I'll just call it quote unquote instant wall snap for myself. The community can decide whatever it wants, but if you want to know more about this, then you can click the little box on that screen somewhere to find out what tip number 10 will be. And with that, that's it. Thanks to everyone who voted for the video back then, and thank you now for watching. Keep it on, at best, no matter what.